who you are. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> it's scotch, mm -hmm. deliciousness mm -hmm. of note. Mm -hmm. As you can see, these things are huge. Let's say fa 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 fa. This is I'm huge. Say salad, I am ready. <laughs> I like big things. <laughs> Matter, comment down below. Okay. <laughs> Just press. Yes. Oh. Let me sit this yes on you. <laughs> down below and the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video and if you're a new subscriber or you knew you're gonna be a new subscriber and be part of the yummy fam come on and join the yummy fam because surely you are yummy <laughs> so today um i have my very special friend here oh, kindly Welcome. <laughs> and as you can see from the title of this video, it's going to be very spicy. Not just the food, but the topic in itself. She doesn't know what we're talking about, but it's going to be something that we've spoken about a couple of times. Don't mind the raggedy nail, guys. Yeah. Does it show, Shirley? Yeah, also, let's not. Uh, uh, let's not be here. Let's, let's not, not be, be here. Let's be here. As long as they are clean, they are washed, you know, you know, exactly. we are ready. In, so in general, that's okay. Okay. So, I just want to give a shout out to Dash Kitchen for sponsoring this video. And today, we're going to be having a seafood boil. And this one specifically is a crab rock boil. Mm -hmm. It's scotch, mm -hmm. deliciousness mm -hmm. of note. Mm -hmm. As you can mm -hmm. see, these things are huge. Let's say fa 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 So I like take Dumb. all of it. Hate, hate, and hate. she suggested this one actually. I was just like, yo, Chummy. Four. Four. <laughs> City <laughs> girls is her. <laughs> She's responsible for this. So um yeah let me just give you guys um just just general information about dash kitchen um they basically all over south africa now a lot of people don't know that they're actually also in cape town so you can order and have your delicious seafood boil just like us so yeah and they also asked me to let you guys know that they also have delicious um crab legs, crab legs yes yeah. sir that they're also um, promoting so we're gonna be trying that soon as well so I'm looking forward to that otherwise I'm just gonna leave the page here make sure at this space hey, wait, hey, wait, like, right here right here so just click click so click, 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 <laughs> click and follow okay cool so tell me let's what, get it started let's get it started we first gonna try they added these cute little Bang bang, they smell so good, guys. Like, Yummy! You don't oh my god, it's like a mac and mm. it's not mac, it's just cheesy, really. It's very cheesy, yeah. And it's got like this lovely, like, crust around yes, it, and it's yes. gooey on the inside. Yes. The kind of things that you love for it, you know, and you know, yeah, you have a saucy smell within, okay. and I think it's part of the sides. Yeah. So, let's do a taste test. Mm. Clink, oh, yours is mine, ooh. is very, ooh. and we like to see that, right? <laughs> Clink. Clink. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start at the bottom. Okay. Oh my god. Mm. It's nice. It even has like a, a guinea scent to it. A guinea scent. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm a guinea fed cook. Mm. Mm hmm. 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 The topic of the day that my friend is gonna know about now mm, I want is dating as a plus size <laughs> lady. Dating as a plus size woman. Yeah. Just your experiences and what it is and just maneuvering in the dating scene as a plus size person, you mm. know? 
So Mastala Glendawana, we always have conversations about what's the difference between dating and being in a relationship. So maybe show me you can introduce <clears throat> us in that realm of things. While no. I grab this big thing. Okay. Tim, it's huge. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the legs, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. Turn it around. This way. Mm. Ooh, guys! Mm. <laughs> this is I'm huge. Ready, I'm ready. Like, Say, up, I am ready. <laughs> I like big things. <laughs> Does size matter? Comment down below. <clears throat> yes or no? Does size matter? Oh, wow, guys. Okay, so now that I'm aware of the topic, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, that is so, so distracting and so delicious. I'm going to get a prawn while I put her there, actually, because, wow, I can't. As the sauce, oh, my God. I can literally taste it just oh, from a little bit. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Dripping. Yeah. Dripping sauce. So, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Now that I'm aware of the topic, guys, mm. for me, this thing is very clear. There's a difference between in a relationship mm -hmm. and dating. Mm -hmm. When you're dating, you are looking for the person that you want to be with, that you will end up being in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. So dating means going out on dates, yeah. um, with people, getting to know people, chatting to people. Mm -hmm. You're not exclusive with anyone at this point, mm -hmm. you know, until you have chosen the person that you want to be with. Okay. So it's not like you're in a relationship with multiple people. No. And I think people got confused because Matlani spoke about this on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. And point. they people came were, attack, for were attacking her. Like, and I'm babe, like, no. Do you not know what dating is? She's literally being honest. Mm. This is what this is what generally what guys do as well. Mm. They'll go on dates with multiple females until they decide who it is that they want. Right. Also, with that, I wanted to ask. I think people want to attack people based on the fact that they think that they're having sex with all of them mm. so because they're doing that then they probably hers or they just judge them based on that so i was just like okay then what is the limit within dating but how far do we get within dating you know i'm, I'm not about to judge people and their sexual activities but in the basic scheme of things when you're dating, you're not necessarily sleeping with these people. You are getting to know them. Mm -hmm. Up until you decide what you want to be exclusive now with this person, you're going to start to sleep with them and do whatever it is that you want to do sure. with them. Yeah, but, so you're not sleeping with multiple people and none, nani, what, mm -hmm. what, don't, don't know. Getting to know them. Mm -hmm. Going on dates. It's like, if you're on the Tinder app yeah. and you're meeting people, you are meeting them and getting to know them. True. You know? Mm -hmm. So now how can you be like, this person is a whole or you know that because how else would they get to, get to know exactly who it is that they would want to exactly. choose out of the people that exactly. they've matched with so mm -hmm. basically you would never ever go on meetups with these people if you yeah. felt like dating was you know um, just an excuse to sleep around or whatever yeah. that's not what you do yeah. that's a different story Definitely. and that's someone else's sexual behavior that i don't even want to go into yeah. it's none of my business but also it's, it's like i think it's a case of um it's you babes like mm. do you like mm. the, the limit or levels that you go into you choose in terms of dating like it's your thing like you choose to go about doing that absolutely but definitely it's got a lot to do with the i think the, the imperative word here is exclusivity it's the fact that you're just not exclusive with them absolutely. and that you can still see other people yes and another thing is you communicate this with the people yeah um it's not oh, a yes. case of Ooh, now honesty you is are very hiding important. that uh -uh. you are um, you are out here you have seeing other people. Multiple suitors or exactly. whatever it is that you want to yeah. call them. Don't act like you're being exclusive with the person and then going out on multiple dates mm. with other people. That's weird. Like yes. that's, that's being dodgy as a person exactly. in general. Yeah, but, Boucher, do you? Anyway, but honest, that's about, okay, mm. you know, I'm getting to know you. Wada, mm. wada, wada. If it comes up or if, if you want to be honest up front, what be like, you know, I'm is. looking. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to say that's what our fellow... Um, human beings on this earth who are of a dark, a lighter hue do. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really, I think I, I kind of appreciate how they play around in the Definitely. dating So we need a lesson, in fact, because we let's learn from the other. In, in that in that specific, in that specific yeah. yeah other things just wow. within dating okay yeah. perfect so now now that we've laid down mm. what is dating and what is being in a relationship 
So we're going to just be talking generally specific to just being a plus size woman, okay. you know? Okay, okay. So I have here, what are the limits in dating? We already said that it's, it's really about... <laughs> who you are <laughs> i'm so excited guys, <laughs> guys <it was. laughs> okay and then dating in general as a plus size woman i think i'm gonna start with my experience and then you can share yours um and i think it's a topic in itself because of the fact that what oh no that doesn't look edible oh <laughs> no <laughs> i think wait to me what is going on <laughs> Just to see if, um, oh my goodness, that does not look. Oh my, I don't even know what I'm doing here, guys. You asked for the lobster, babes. Indeed. How no, I think it? now that's that's the one. Yes, this looks very mm. edible. But okay. this, what is happening here? Mm. Which, I mean, maybe it is. It. Ooh, it's a little poo. It's a little. Then there's poo poo. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, for me, my experience hasn't really been a case of it's going to be a topic and i think dating as a plus as woman is a topic because of the fact that we get people who uh think that we are fetishes is that a word fetishes i don't think so but continue we but you, you get my vibe like yeah. when a person has a fetish and they have a fetish on you as a plus size lady <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so um it becomes a topic in that sense um it's always questionable as to why do people want to date you, you know? Like, are they here for the bum? Do you do that thing? Are they here for that? When someone... <laughs> <laughs> when someone... Mm. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Okay. When someone invites you, like, on Facebook and yeah. stuff, do you, like, go through... Well, I know, like, on your Insta, you have a large following, so obviously yeah. it's not, it's not going to be easy to... Everyone, everyone who follows you, it's not going to be easy to kind of, like, go through and be like, who are you? Mm -hmm. Because there's so many people who follow you every mm -hmm. day. But, like, if you look at Facebook or whatever, mm -hmm. do you then go and be like, why is this person inviting me? Who are they following? Uh -huh. Are they following, like, all types of plus-size people? Or are they just fo following, an, you know, a, a random oh, number, yeah. selection, a balance number? Yeah. Is that a thing for you? No, it's definitely a thing. I think because we've had the conversation of when I I, I written something on Facebook about um, can men... Who treat plus size women as a fetish just stop and then i was i was basically almost like attacked in a sense that but how do you know if it's just a case of just pure um what's this preference or that the person is actually i was going to dive, you know? dive into that yeah. yeah so i mean i i feel like the niggas that are out here following just plus size women i'm like it's a trigger babes it's a trigger i'm just like why no no nah, it's weird why are you doing that and for me that's already telling me that um your intentions are skewed so i can't be, i can't be about that so for me that's that's already telling me like stay away babes like i can't need my mom like this is danger mm. you know but then again it's like if you're gonna argue about the fact that Om Clam is just their um, their type, so they just wanna follow their types, it's just weird. It's not like you go on social media and just follow your types, or do you? That's fair, you know. That's fair, but then mm. also like I'm not the same like as like the next person type of thing. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I think I have to think about the, the different types of people, mm -hmm. and that I think to an extent. It is kind of limiting yourself even mm. to say okay if you're gonna follow women who look like me yes then bah, boo, you mm -hmm. know because honestly i think there are people who are really perving on on larger women right now it's not it's, it's not a very, thing it's, no, it's a, a thing know? it's not even a secret it's a thing but then just in the same way as a lot of guys will just literally just follow um smaller women or yeah. average size women um, because that's what they're attracted to. They see them on a on a on a explore page, and they're like, "Oh, follow," uh -huh. or whatever the case may mm -hmm. be. So now, how are we going to have a clear definition of okay, you're a creep and you're not a creep? Because I believe that amongst those people who follow plus size people, there's actually people who are genuine about the type that they like. And yeah, honestly, for me, it's it's not a thing. It's not a thing. And What's not a thing? It's not a thing that um, if they if follow, follow just plus size, it's not a thing that you probably have a fetish. 
Now say the chances are high. What do you think if a, if a man <laughs> follows, like, let's say, like a good 10 For plus, sort of thing, plus, plus size woman? Mm. Is it a fetish or not? Is it, is it, is it a sign? A sign, mama, of a fetish or what? So, so when someone has a fetish of plus size people mm. and they want to date you, so you, you, you are someone that they literally for them it's like the best thing in the world right yeah. and then also um they really like you or whatever it is mm-hmm. you have a problem with that person trying to pursue you i have if they are a genuine being like a normal genuine your your type bodily your type everything like I, i'm trying to understand the issue with because let's for example let's use toes right? okay the guys who are obsessed with toes okay like mine we've, we've been in this situation <laughs> Okay, I think a lot of us have been in this situation. Obsessed. <laughs> so now, because of this guy who liked you and saw your toes and thought, oh my goodness, these toes are amazing. Uh-huh. Like it's a thing for them. It's a fetish. Right? And they follow other toe pages. But they like you and you, as, as a result of whatever, mm-hmm. also contain what it is that they, that they have a fetish on. So does That's that mean now you exclude them? No, I'm just saying they must just acknowledge that it's a fetish. Oh, acknowledge. Yeah, it's acknowledge that you have a fetish. Okay, so you, so you won't woman. unaccept them and you won't not accept them as a friend. I probably, request. I probably won't because of just my own beliefs about <laughs> what the kind of people that they are. Unfortunately. Mm. Okay, so you're prejudging them now. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Like I don't, I don't see myself entertaining someone who has a fetish over plus size women sorry did I cut the cameras I don't for me unless unless you're going around commenting on women weird random things and, and whatever it is if you're following plus size women that's what you like as black people we are bodily like like Gifted. voluptuous and, and whatever <laughs> generally speaking you are literally following the most common body type if you are following bigger women because in general the bigger people are the majority of you know people on this planet on this space that we are in so my thing is now must this person remove themselves from what they like i'm just saying guys make- i think the next trigger let topic because in my experience in the dating as the plus size woman and had dating somebody who has done that who's been about following plus size women like religiously actually ah the experience no babes it's flawed it's 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 null and void so uh, okay so based, just based don't do experience. it yeah just don't do it just don't do it i mean have a fetish but i'm getting down i will not accept you for other reasons but just not you for it yeah it's no. fine okay let's move on yeah so no but you need to tell us about your dating experience as a plus size woman mm. yeah I can tell you about my dating experience as a woman in general because I don't know yeah. how to really... So, that's what I'm saying. For me, when I said, it, it hasn't really been a thing. Like, I'm dating as a plus size woman. It's just been like, I'm just dating. Mm-hmm. And I just happen to just be plus size, you know? So, I know but I know from other people, it's literally a, a topic based on the lot of um, <coughs> connotations that come with dating as a plus size woman. I don't know. I feel like there's, there's too much to speak about so yeah i'm gonna try and like summarize if i can i've tried various types of dating which includes online dating oh it's from you've tried it you've tried it (laughs) it includes like friends trying to hook you up and stuff like that oh yeah the hooking up a friends thing doesn't work but it didn't work for me Mm -hmm. because I don't know if my friend didn't know this particular this one that was not me it was it wasn't you it was disclaimer you. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. i don't know like if my one friend really didn't know my type or honestly like i don't know what was going on there yeah. but um that didn't work yeah and i'm not gonna put it to anything other than like we just had different ideas mm-hmm. with these guys or whatever of what of what it is that we wanted yeah. and guys are very they like to be confucius they're very confused. <laughs> very. And even older guys nowadays don't want to commit. Like it's the weirdest thing. But anyway, so online dating. I think I'll speak about that more because that's that's more recent. Your experts. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I've been on so many online dates, guys. Listen, listen. 
<laughs> Listen, and even 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 not going on the dates, just chatting to the to the to the human on the other side. Mm. Um, sometimes the getting to know people. Yeah, like mm. sometimes the intention seems very clean and clear and whatever, yeah. and then it flips on you because people can only lie for a short period of time until listen they and then they reveal the colors. Like, ah, 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 mm. Actually, ah, ah, come see me now. Yeah, ah, 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 whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I just feel like generally yeah. people don't want to commit yeah men i don't know why and please I tell us maybe why it's because why is it is it because there are there are a lot of us who no, actually allow why? those situations to happen i don't know like, what, and what it's, it's like it's a very recent thing also it's like what's going on if you didn't date in high school and then like grow up with your partner mm. it's very difficult now it's late to get into the, that's why we're still mm, single or varsity at least to put a nom duapo michate or whatever it is yeah right now people are just looking for the most amazing thing for that moment you know the most amazing moment they're selfish know. if anything oh, I, I'm just, they're very selfish i don't know where the candidate had mm. where? <laughs> i don't know reveal yourself down below <laughs> i feel like yeah, we want men within our caliber also, Ooh. and that's another thing, right? Mm. So because as a person, yeah, you have your your list of things, yeah. right, that you want in a person. Mm. You obviously also have a list of things that you will bring forth or you will bring mm-hmm. in a relationship because we need to be honest with ourselves. Mm-hmm. We can't be out here on some I want, I want, I want, I want, and then you're going. Well, you can't, give. you know, no bet. Like I was with support, I was with I was with mm-hmm. You know, as as we now if we go be near Malan, 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 it's Iko's the lifestyle. Iko, I think we're umfana niti fafa. Nobody too. Yabo niti ba ni beklo we or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, it's on your list. Yeah. So you have this list, and then there are oh, guys. Obviously, not not won't be a case of meeting a hundred percent of it, but like mm-hmm. the things that you feel like the grand guys or whatever. Yeah. How much does it? Aba ba meet ayo i criteria u seventy percent where. Baby, we're not even getting to 70. Then, then you...